What's going on, comic book community? Lumbox Love Affair here. I have an unboxing today. So uh, you're gonna see an international comic, you're gonna see a sketch cover, and you're gonna see what I believe is a Bronze Age key. Um, it's, I know it's a key, I just, I think it's Bronze Age in terms of the time frame. Um, and then I picked up some, a couple other random books that I'm gonna show off at the end. So let me get into the unboxing. Um, the first one I've already unboxed for myself. Uh, this came from IG Comics Shop or IG Comic Store, uh, Instagram Comic Store, uh, long way of saying. They do an interesting business. They have some regular books that they put online that are super expensive. Uh, I'm not sure why they're so expensive for an X-Men 3, uh, Jim Lee, 1991 issue, uh, but or, or whatever. But every once in a while you find a cool deal. And they also have exclusives and they have um, variant covers and CGC stuff. So um, I found this international variant cover. Um, I'd been watching for this for a while and I just stumbled upon it. So they, they ship everything. Uh, it did have two boards. Um, I took the one out, but then they wrap it, uh, in, in this wrap, which, uh, I think it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, it keeps everything nice and stable. Uh, I've had this for a couple weeks. In fact, my last video, I should have showed this off, but I forgot. Uh, so I'm going to show it right now. Uh, this is an X-Men book. Uh, from maybe Italy, I have to take a look. It's a Panini uh, variant, and you rarely see this online. And the price was just uh, really decent. So it's a foil David Finch cover uh, from the Messiah Complex run, I believe. I don't even know the, the issue numbers. Uh, it is in this mylar. It is near mint. Um, it is just super cool. And this, this, I think this was a cover of Finch's, one of his variant covers. Um, maybe it was a standard cover, but to have this all, um, uh, foiled up, versionized, no logo, really cool. Uh, and it's sort of embossed. Some of the Characters are, are lifted up off the page. This is one that the corners are really tight as well. I bet you this is a 9-8. Um, this is one that uh, would... Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, would be hard to open and read, uh, probably. Um, I'm not sure if I would have Finch sign it, though, because of the gloss on the cover. It probably would smear. Um, but... Cool, cool Panini variant cover. Put that down right here. Um, so that was an ungraded book. Um, the next two books are graded. I got them off eBay, uh, and it was a good experience on eBay, which I am about to film another video that is not so good. Uh, and if any of you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw in my story uh, an issue um, that I was having with one of the books I received. So um, one of these is the big key and one of these is the sketch cover. Uh, I think this is the sketch cover. So let's just see before I tell the story because no sense getting all confused. Let's see, put this away over here. Ah. All right, these priority boxes are hard to maneuver sometimes. I've been hunting for random things on eBay, and uh, yes, this is the sketch cover. But, um, so, those of you might remember, I already showed this in my last haul video, my Thanos uh, Nick Bradshaw sketch. Oh, it's looking really good in this video right now. Um, colored and, and sketched by Nick Bradshaw. Um, got this off of... Uh, eBay for less than the price it is to commission him. Uh, and even if you commission him, you might not get a color copy. You might just get um, something else. So this this book has been on eBay for a while. Sorry, I'm just running out of room here. And I it must have sold to someone and someone tried to flip it. And it or maybe the person who had it on there for a while decided to lower the price. 
regardless, they did an auction and I ended up winning it. And it's the kind of thing where I wasn't sure I wanted it. Um, I didn't want it to go for so low, but uh, it did. And um, I got it. And it's in an old CGC case. Um, it is also a Nick Bradshaw. It's a Nick Bradshaw cable. And so this is signed and sketched by Nick Bradshaw in 2015. I like this better in person. This is really cool. I love his style. Like character, uh, cartoony, Ed McGinnis style. 9-8 um, goes really nicely with this other Bradshaw, even though this is a 9-6. Um, definitely a different approach with him doing the backgrounds and only doing it in, in black and white uh, or just just ink I should say uh, and it's his old signature it's just the ND whereas now he does the full-on um, but really cool really pleased with this um, but the case is definitely an old thin case sketch edition so um, so yeah, it's my sketch cover. Uh, but yeah, so I bid on it. I got it for like 80 bucks. Uh, and I couldn't believe I got it for that cheap. I was like, well, if I got it for that cheap, it must have been a sign. And, you know, he's an artist that I've really followed. So um, add those sketch covers to my collection. I think it was originally on eBay for 150 to $200, maybe more. Uh, but I just never bid on it. I never even watched it, I don't think, and just happened to see it. Um, up for sale again. All right, uh, on to the mother load. Uh, this book I stumbled upon, uh, casually had been looking for it, uh, and decided to follow a particular uh, sale that was going on. And this is another example, just like the Bradshaw sketch of me not being sure I wanted to own it, but uh, I was like, let me just do it anyway. Uh, let me uh, let me put a bid in and if it goes higher, it goes higher. And what do you know? It didn't. Uh, and I looked out. So let's see here. This is a big box. That's a nice big box. Um, so this is a bronze, I don't think it's copper uh, age key book that I wanted to get sooner than later. Look, you got to look at this shipping. That, and it's got this hard stock uh, CGC stuff in there, and it's got a pri priority mailbox in there. What the? This guy was serious. I spent enough, so he should be. <laughs> um, and if you're watching, let me know that you sold me this, if that's if you're in the YouTube community. All right, so enough anticipation. Oh, and look at this. They even got these killer padding in there. Man, how, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. This is like a Russian doll. Just keeps going and going. All right. I'll deal with the mess later. At least it's CGC, so I know that everything is here, that it's another layer of protection with CGC. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> What would have been a six minute video is turning into nine minutes, 10 minutes. But, you know, seriously, uh, this wrapping is much appreciated. I think anytime you have a big boy book and can package it appropriately. All right, home stretch, right? I just can't drop it after all of this now. Oh, good. He just put a little tape on it. Marvel Spotlight number five, right? Yeah. 
off-white to white pages doesn't bother me. And uh, what really has been bothering me lately is spine ticks. Uh, and this one has uh, them under control. They're there. It's a six. But this is the first appearance of Ghost Rider. Uh, I've wanted this book for a long time. Uh, and felt like I needed to really focus on my Spider-Man run. Now that I finished my Spider-Man run, I don't think I'm getting Amazing Fantasy 15 this year. Who knows? I say that now. Um, I don't have the savings for that, nor the permission. Uh, but this was within my means, and I had sold a bunch of things on eBay, and they all equated to this book. So 6.0. Uh, I looked at higher grades, and I was like, I just don't want to spend uh, thousands of dollars on this book. To have it is, is awesome. And uh, it looks really nice. Really nice. Old school Marvel banner. I liked how the Ghost Rider books had this like uh, border. Um, pretty cool stuff. So, uh, so that's that. And then the only other thing to show is a couple books I bought at Zaps Comics in Jersey. Um, I got a Guardians of the Galaxy 3 second print variant. It's a cool Star-Lord cover. And I got another copy of the newsstand of Silver Surfer 50 that looks minty mint. Um, so, but really the highlight of this lot is the Ghost Rider. Um, all that unboxing to get this Ghost Rider, which is super exciting. So, um, so yeah, uh, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for more videos. If you're new to my channel, like, comment, subscribe. So you see what I put out there every week or so. Um, and um, yeah, thanks everyone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.